How's it going guys? Cracked Rack here, and today we're going to be doing another Chris Chan video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something pretty fun and lighthearted, because, you know, I've been talking about a lot of dark things lately. Like, you know, people dying, people being evil, people getting others to self-delete, you know, the usual topics around here. But today we'll be talking about Chris Chan's favorite video games. Now, as you may or may not know, video games are to Chris as Brie Cheese is to my homosexual grandfather. They're pretty much gold to him. He used to spend almost all of his days playing video games when he wasn't buying snacks with welfare checks or modeling in women's clothing. And over his many years of life, he has collected quite a lot of video games, perhaps even thousands. Keep in mind, if Chris goes to jail for a long time, his house is going to get foreclosed on and all of his games will go into the garbage. Now, I'm not going to talk two of his favorite franchises, that being Sonic the Hedgehog and Pokemon because they are obviously his favorite games. We're gonna talk about some of the games he loves that you may not have known he liked or at least liked so much. Now currently Chris is in prison and is playing no video games at all and that must just be killing him. But when he gets out, if he gets out, he'll likely return to playing his trusty PS4, which he used to play almost constantly. Chris has a lot of PS4 games, but I'm just gonna guess the ones that are his favorites are the ones he has nearly all of the trophies for and has 100%ed. So one of Chris's most played titles on the PS4 is LEGO Dimensions. Chris absolutely fucking loves LEGO Dimensions, and I'm gonna assume it's because you have to collect a bunch of ugly shitty toys, which Chris absolutely adores because he's a mindless consumer drone. The next PS4 game Chris adores is The Order 1886. A pretty mature game for someone like Chris, but apparently he 100%ed that one too. I personally think The Order 1886 is a giant sack of piss. It's one of the most boring third-person shooters I've ever played in my life. Seriously, I'd rather play Sonic 06 than ever touch that fucking game ever again. Chris is also quite a fan of Ratchet and Clank as he completed this game to 100%. Other than those two games, the rest of his choices on the PS4 are pretty much just Sonic or other rated E for everyone platformers meant for literal 10 year olds. He does play quite a few M rated games here and there, but the majority of his game choices are vapid platformers. Though Chris hasn't touched his PS4 in a long time, like, it's been months since he's turned it on. And with Chris in prison, it's unlikely he'll turn it on for a very long time. Then you have Chris's Nintendo Switch, which he used to play a lot, but now probably also never plays. He mainly played Tetris 99 on it, which is like a cool online Switch remaster of Tetris. He also plays an ass ton of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, as well as a ton of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Note that almost all of the video games I've mentioned in this video thus far have been paid for by Weens, who actually listen to Chris's e-begging and give him money. The Switch, along with the Pokemon games, are not cheap. In fact, the Switch itself is like 300 bucks, and the Pokemon games together are like hundreds of dollars, if you get all of them. So nearly like 500 bucks have gone towards this game console that Chris doesn't even use anymore. Now thus far, we've only covered Chris's modern favorite games. Let's go back a few years to the early 2010s when Chris was still rocking with the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 was Chris's favorite game console for a very long time. I mean, at least eight or nine years of Chris's life were spent on a PS3. He originally bought it in 2007 and didn't give it up until like 2014 or 2015, and he didn't even buy a PS4 until 2016. The PS3 is Chris's most diverse and large game collection to date, I believe. One of his most favorite action games at the time was God of War 3, which really came as a shock to the Christorian community back in those days because Chris up to that point had only expressed interest in extremely childish games like Animal Crossing or Pokemon. God of War 3, if you aren't aware, is an extremely gory video game where you rip bitches' heads off and literally have an orgy with a bunch of girls to save your game every time. Chris also loved the game Infamous, which the wiki humorously points out is a game about a man wearing yellow who has electricity powers. Infamous is actually a really good game though, and honestly, thus far, Chris's taste is really not so bad. It's a shame he's so fucked up, because otherwise he's a man of quality game tastes. He's a man of quality film tastes too. Fun fact, did you know that Chris is a big fan of the Saw franchise? The fucking Saw franchise. But anyway, back to his games. There's a certain game franchise on the PS3 that drives Chris absolutely nuts and has been his obsession for a decade. 
that game franchise being the Little Big Planet games. I don't know if any of you played that series because it is pretty dated now and it has been for like seven years and the community is completely dead at this point. But when that game originally dropped back in like 2008, it was unbelievable. You had never seen anything like it. The community was gigantic and people were creating levels left and right and innovating the game and creating advanced levels that replicate movie scenes or even other video games. People were also making friends and making lifelong connections through that game. Overall, that game franchise was the best shit ever, and it's not surprising Chris likes it so much. It's the sole franchise that kept him playing his PS3 well after the PS4 came out. So yeah, overall, Chris's favorite games besides the usual Pokemon and Nintendo shit are Little Big Planet 1 through 3, God of War 3, The Order 1886, Lego Dimensions, and a few others. As for Chris's least favorite games, I would assume it's really any first-person shooter, as almost every single FPS game that Chris owns he hasn't touched a single time. I would assume that first-person shooter games are just too mature for Chris, as he's never seemed to show an interest. The only time Chris shows an interest in an M-rated game is if it's a console exclusive or deeply based in fantasy with lots of colorful themes like God of War, for example. Overall, it's pretty sad how good Chris's game collection is because you'd think from his interests alone he'd be a stand-up guy to talk to. But unfortunately, the person Chris has become is a far cry from the somewhat redeemable and interesting guy he used to be. That's all for today. See ya.